How's it going guys? Sherway here for a video. Today we are actually going to be doing a review over the Soundpeats QY7 Bluetooth headphones. Um, I actually was supposed to do this about a week and a half ago, but I wanted to take a little bit longer and review them. That way I can just give a little bit better of an idea of how, what they actually are on a day-to-day -day use instead of just rushing right into it. Um, so let's just get right into this. The actual design of the headphones is really cool. I'd say you've got about a foot in between the two headphones um, as far as the length of the actual band itself. Uh, the cool thing about it that I like is it fits really nicely up against your neck and you can actually just pop it straight into your ear and they latch in place. Uh, of course that really depends on whether or not you're using the little ear guards. Uh, they ship with those so I would recommend actually just trying those to see if they fit before you actually start customizing it because you may like it. Like honestly I haven't changed anything out and I think they fit great. So they pop right into your ear, they lock in place, I don't really have to worry about them falling out at all. Um, really comfortable it's it's got a slim profile um i was worried about it actually bulging out on the sides but it turned out pretty well um i was noticing a lot of reviews about people saying they were that they were bulky and i'm just not getting that of course i have a big head and big ears so that may be why it didn't bother me as much um but overall i i thought it was a really great design um i'm not too fond of the actual green color of course, I have the option to go with another color, such as black, so it wouldn't stand out as much, but I was like, oh, I want to use these in the gym, I want to get out there and be more active, so I bought these. Um, haven't made it to the gym yet with them, but I plan on it. Um, as of right now, though, I use them as my daily driver of headphones all the time. When I'm not in the car, I use these to listen to music. I actually made phone calls with this, and it turns out really nice. Um, uh, I actually asked the person, I was like, can you hear me pretty well? I was outside. They said yes. Uh, the sound quality is really good, but it was a little uh, windy. Uh, of course, you're going to get that with any type of open, oh, excuse me, open mic uh, like this one. Uh, it's kind of hard to see, but it's just a, like a little pinhole of a microphone. So I think that that was what would cause it to have that kind of windy uh, sound to it. One cool thing that I did like about these is the volume rocker. Um, instead of it having on the being on the back of the earbud, like a lot of the past earbuds I've had, this one's actually on the front. So you'll actually tap up to go up in volume and tap down to go down in volume. Uh, one thing that did drive me crazy though is the way that you connect, the, connect these headphones is there's this little button right here and it's the button to do damn near anything on the this actual headset um, it's the way you connect them turn them on uh, pause music use Siri if you have an iPhone um, and that was a major downside for me because this button I don't know if it's because I have big fingers or if it's just not sensitive enough but pressing that button is so hard to do when it's actually on your face um, one thing I also noticed is if these things, even though they are a very snug fit on your on your head, let me actually put them on. Um, even though these are a very snug fit on your head, uh, you can when it, when the music's playing or whatever you're doing and the sound is coming out, you can actually tell how tight these are. It's almost like you have earplugs in, and if there's just the slightest movement. Uh, and it pops out or comes um, situates the sound in any other fashion than what the other one is it's uh, the sound waves it's kind of hard to explain it's kind of weird uh, of course that may be just my personal experience and maybe the way my ear canals are shaped but it's almost like I had like an echo almost um, but other than that the sound quality is amazing like did not expect that for $29.99 in a pair of Bluetooth headphones uh, anyone that's actually asked me about the brand of these when I've been wearing them out, they're like, oh, where'd you get those? I'm like, Amazon. Uh, and I tell them how nice they are, and then when I tell them they're $29.99, it just blows them away. Uh, especially the people I work with. We sell these headphones, uh, uh, Beats, actually. They're wireless, and they're like $200, and do not sound as good as these, in my opinion. Uh, a lot more bass. Uh, these, these, even though they have really good bass, it's a lot more of a mid-sounding headphone, so it's going to be good for all types of music instead of just, like, hip-hop. Um... So that's really good, uh, a plus. One thing I do like too is it actually, the headphones actually curve in, as you can see. So when actually, when you have it actually in your head, it actually goes into the ear canal, which is a, which is a major plus. 
Um, it directs the sound directly into your ear instead of like in, like up against the skin in your ear. Uh, doesn't sound like it make that big of a difference, but you can when you put them on. You'll be like, okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. I did have the chance to use these under uh, unwanted weather conditions. I had to walk to my car and I had parked in the back of a parking lot, so I was a little bit worried about it, you know, being a live uh, Bluetooth headset on my ear. I was like, oh god, I'm gonna ruin these headphones. But then I remember that it was water resistant. Um, they don't really advertise it that well, but these are really good for that. Like, it did not affect the sound quality at all. Didn't worry about the headphones. Honestly, they still perform the same they did when I first got them. Battery life on these guys are amazing. I have charged them once since I bought these a week ago, and I use them almost every single day. Hours on a day, for sure. Um, it says that you can get uh, six hours of actual... Uh, like talking time or you can have uh, 18 hours on standby which is ridiculous um, definitely something to look into uh, comparing to other headphones like the Plan Planetronics I think is the brand Backbeats I'm pretty sure they only get like three hours of playback before you have to charge them again it's so bad on those that you actually have to carry around a battery pack to plug those into like the carrying case is a battery pack uh, and that's something you don't have to experience with this brand, which is, I cannot stress enough, $29.99, it's, it's a steal. So, that's my review over the Soundpeats QI7. I would recommend these headphones to anyone looking for a nice pair of wireless headphones, whether that be a gym goer or just your average uh, podcast listener. Uh, these are a great pair of headphones, and they're awesome. I'll post a link to Amazon so you can actually purchase these yourself. Thank you guys for checking out this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos. I'm making new content all the time and would like any support that you can give me. Thank you. Bye-bye.